Have you all hey, seen this? a different one of these COVID test swabs with a high zoom camera. Or maybe that's a microscope. I'm not exactly sure. But it looks so much different than a cotton swab, which they also do a comparison to. It looks like a toothbrush or something. All of these different strands sticking out. What are these strands? And it gets even more concerning when they apply it to a little slab of meat. These strands appear to be sharp and rigid. And there's one of our little black fibers, which we've been examining in other videos as well. But in this video, I want to focus on these white shards that are sticking out from this test swab. And watch what happens when they rub it up against some meat. The shards come off of the swab and lodge themselves into the flesh. You can see them poking out, being left behind. Why on earth would anybody design a test so horrific? This is awful. Is this some sort of a delivery system? Is this designed to agitate people's flesh? Remember, they're sticking these swabs up people's noses, twisting them around, and leaving them in contact with that soft, fleshy part of the inner nose for an extended period of time. So this is very concerning to see some of these swabs might be doing this to people. Like, this is an actual COVID test swab, apparently. But instead of sticking it up somebody's nose, they tried it against a little piece of meat with horrifying results. So this is a bit of a PSA. Be very careful what you let people stick up your nose, because it might leave a bunch of shards sticking out of your flesh. Look at all these. Isn't this awful? We need to get the word out about these horrific, painful tests. It can't be good to have these shards impaling you and being left behind. And I also recommend you check out this video in the description. The narrator makes some very interesting points. But I want to give a big shout out to Sarah A. and Ubiquitum for doing some experiments and publishing the results on the internet. And please go check out their videos and subscribe.